With the used car market booming after quarantine, people are finding themselves purchasing a new used car. But not all of us can afford to have them fitted with some stock mod cons that will make us stand out from the crowd. Well, for little under £210, you could. This is the Atoto F7 Pro and it's a 10.1 inch floating display that offers you everything you need to turn your dated car into something more with a bit more mod cons. So unboxing this guy and it is worth noting you don't get everything you need for installation. It will depend on the car but most likely you will need a double DIN cage and some sort of ISO connector or adapter. But once again this will depend on your stereo so it is worth doing your research. I will link this cage and ISO adapter below in the comments so check them out. Most of the time these are universal so they might work for you. So in the box you get the stereo itself two different style ISO adapters which if you're lucky might be the one you need for installation, a video cable for any rear or front cameras which I will say aren't included, external microphone, mounting brackets for installation, mounting screws along with some basic instruction manuals and a screen protector. If we look at the back of the double ding casing you'll find all your connectors. Obviously you're going to want to focus on the power port as much as you can as this is very much where you're going to need to do most of the work to ensure you've got this wired up properly. So do take note of this connection. The front screen is a very nice booming size at little over 10 inches and it certainly will become a focal point for any car. But I will say off the bat be aware. You do have some adjustability with height and view angle but for some vehicles the screen may block the air vents or controls and you'll see what I mean later. What I like about this stereo is they have kept the tactile main buttons. Some of the other screen stereos I've used have lacked them and only used touchscreen and this can be very irritating trying to change track or volume while driving just purely using a touchscreen it can be difficult. So keeping those tactile buttons for me is a great idea. So let's get this installed and I'll show you everything up and running. So adjusting the stereo tilt and movement is done manually by adjusting the mount position and tightening it into the desired place. This can be somewhat tricky but you'll get it in shape rather quickly. Here you can adjust the height. This part will take some general trial and error but it is worth taking your time to get the height and tilt perfect for the car because not everybody is going to be the same. So you're going to want to mount the double din into the cage. This part is dead easy and doesn't require too much explanation. Remove your old car stereo, unplugging everything ensuring you give yourself plenty of room to work. This part can get confusing. I'm working with a Peugeot 207 cc so all I needed to do was connect up one of the provided ISO adapters and then I spliced in my power cable to its designated cable on the adapter. This happened to be the yellow one. Connect up your USB adapters, aerial cable and any functions of the stereo you want to take advantage of. As mentioned it may take some time to find the best tilt and height so just take it out and adjust it accordingly. As mentioned you may get some blocking off your vents or buttons but I seem to find the sweet spot where none of this was a trouble to me too much and that 10 inch screen just overshadowed it. All in all the screen is a stunning IPS panel rocking a full HD 10.1 inch 1024 by 600 5 touch capacitive touch screen with a 178 degree full viewing angle. Literally from any angle you can view this it looks really nice. Now that we have it installed let's take a look at some of the features on board this piece of kit. Obviously a huge selling point for this is the use of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay both operating very similarly. Apple CarPlay is operated by connecting your iPhone to the USB slot on the device. By doing this you have use of all your essential iPhone functions on the road. The display is really nice and you can customise it to somewhat of your own requirements. You can listen to your music using iTunes, Apple Music or any installed media apps. You can also use Apple CarPlay to take advantage of Siri too. Here you can control everything using voice commands. So that could include changing the sound, opening messages, using the maps and a hell of a lot more. 
truly utilizing your mobile phone with Apple CarPlay. I found the whole user face to be extremely fluid and responsive. Another onboard function is the auto link or mirror link function. It allows you to cast whatever's on your Apple iPhone or Android device directly to the stereo screen. So if you wanted to, you could potentially use your phone's GPS navigation app for online navigation or for the other passengers stick a video on from YouTube. This can come in handy as Android Auto or Apple CarPlay does not support video playback at all. What's great about both these functions is when you have this plugged up, you can get an extremely fast charge, allowing you to replenish your iPhone's battery power while utilizing its functionalities as well. So it is a win-win. So those are two main selling points in terms of features, but obviously the stereo has the basics installed too. The built-in media playback from either an SD card, USB, or even the radio app is very functional. Sound comes out really nice and you can play around with the sound output using the onboard EQ options. But like many of these stereos, you really are at mercy of your own speakers. So the quality does come down to those. You've also got Bluetooth hands-free if you don't want to utilize the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You do have rear and front camera input options, and these are unfortunately sold separately, but can be picked up extremely cheap. And I will post those below. Overall, for the price, you are getting an all-in-one system supporting an up-to-date firmware, which is continually being updated, along with containing some of the most sought-after features like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for a fraction of the price. Despite the screen size being rather large for some vehicles, it is very nice. And when you get that perfect viewing angle on it, you may not experience that said blocking off any features of your car, but take advantage of that glorious 10.1 inch screen. I've reviewed quite a few car stereos over the years, and this is by far one of the better ones for the price range. You get that Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and with that 10.1 inch display, you're going to be able to enjoy that with ease. Now to be honest, the only problematic thing is the 10 inch screen, and that is because you're going to be obscuring any parts of your car, including air vents or any buttons. So do ensure your car has the space for something like this. If it does, you do have a bit of leeway with the tilt and up and down, but like I did say earlier, it probably might likely obscure any parts of your car. However, despite that, this is a fantastic device. It offers everything you need. And to be honest, for the price range, you really can't go wrong. Check out the product in the link in the description. Let me know what you think. Till next time.